What's up athletes, welcome back. You know, our health and fitness is another bank account and oftentimes we don't really view it this way. But imagine that we started changing the language around some of the activities that we do when it comes to our self-care. What if instead of saying, I spent time working out, we started saying, I invested my time in my training today. I invested my time in preparing this beautiful, colorful meal for myself. And so when we look at it this way, it completely changes the mindset around why we wanna do something. Spending is a lack. It's something that's being taken away from us. But investing is something that is going to give us more profits in the future. So every time I do a workout, I invest in that bank account. Every single time I reduce one teaspoon of sugar in my coffee, I invest in that bank account. Every walk I go on, I invest in that bank account. Every time I sit down with friends and in good company, I invest in that account. And then every time I do something that doesn't serve me, that is considered a withdrawal. So athletes, maybe today we use a different language around our self-care and just see how we start to show up for ourselves. All right, so if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe so that we keep training together. And today we are going to do a 10 minute full body workout. This is going to be a no stop workout and all you're going to need to follow along today is just a medium weight pair of dumbbells. You're gonna need an elevated surface and then also be close by to a wall here. You're also going to need your mat. So this is a wild card workout. I'm gonna show you your first exercise. Then you'll check this box above so that you know what is coming up next. All right, are you ready to get started? So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and grab just one dumbbell over here and we're gonna do a snatch. It's gonna be a hang snatch. So we're gonna dip the knees. All right, so like we're about to start a jump and then allow the elbows to lead up and then snap the weights up. All right. We're gonna just slow it down. So the way I like to break this down is maybe start like this, and then I continue all the way up. So if you're noticing you're doing this and pressing, that's more of a pull and a press. But what I want you to think about is transferring that energy from ground to overhead in one fluid movement, and then bring it down, and then we're gonna switch to the other side. Now, don't stress out too much if you don't feel like you have the, mo the motion. It's gonna take some practice, that's simply how it works, and then use something light so you allow yourself that chance to adapt. All right, athletes, we're doing this for 60 second alternate that hang snatch in three two one and let's go so today Kobe is joining me for the workout he wants to make sure that we're not gonna cheat on any reps here and I found that since I've had a dog I've been doing massive investments in my health account and because Dogs bring love, they really bring so much joy and they show us, I believe, just another level of love that I didn't really know existed. And by the way, I'm a mom and I love my kids to death, but there's something about connecting with animals and possibly connecting with nature that is just something so special. So do you have a dog? Let me know below in the comment or do you have a cat or any other pet and what have they brought to your life? <sighs> All right, let's keep going here. Five more seconds, three, two, one, and break. All right, now with or without the weights, we're gonna do step up. So we're gonna go ahead and step up on the right side, and I'm holding the weight here on my left side, standing all the way up, and then really wanting to make sure I get that full extension in the top position. And so athletes, if you're liking some of this mindset talk, that I share with you in the beginning of these workouts, then I invite you to check out my podcast, Fall in Love with Fitness. And it is available on Spotify, on iTunes, even on Audible. So all of the platforms where you can listen to audio. And what's really great about it is I interview various guests who are authors or professionals in their field, as well as people who have recovered from massive adversity and who've gone through a great deal of trauma and transformation themselves. <sighs> All right, a few more seconds and we're gonna switch sides. Three, two, one, and break. All right, now I'll switch to the other side. And so I may have shared with you before that I am anti-diet and I don't believe that exercise and diet should be a means to 
try to change how we physically look, but instead to really reestablish that identity because the moment that we decide to change who we are, we become the person who never has to diet or exercise again. And so through my own struggles with my injuries, I've discovered that the moment I changed who I was, then everything really changed for me. And I started having non-negotiables in my life. Exercise for me is non-negotiable, not because I want to look a certain way, but because it makes me feel a certain way. And then the side effect of that is a transformation in the physical body. All right, almost done here. And then we're gonna go to the wall. Three, two, one. All right, now grab your weight here with me. Let's come to the wall. And now place the weights on the knees. Then we're gonna do a heel lift. Kobe's just checking form. He's making sure we are bringing the heels up as high as we can. I'm feeling my quads. I know you're with me, but don't break. We got this. Good job. That's it, continue to breathe here. Imagine in just 10 minutes how much we're getting out of this workout and how it's really enough to get the results that we want. And I continue to stress this because I feel that we are told that we need to spend so much time dedicating that energy into that bank account and it's simply not true. Three, two, one. All right, let's come on up. Now, we're gonna do a single leg deadlift. So grab that weight on the right side. Maybe focus on a spot. So I'm looking at my timer here on my phone and the more I focus on one spot, the better control I have over my balance. And so give that a go. If you're finding that you're losing your balance, might be just where we're placing our eyes. And then give yourself grace. So if this is the first time you're doing this, then allow yourself that opportunity to progress. And you notice, I looked up at you, I lost my balance, it's just part of it. And so, just being mindful, of the breath as well, and how the breath is also impacting the balance. Just find that flow in the body. And I know you're feeling the burn in the calves and I am distracting you. All right, in three, two, one. Now let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Again, finding that spot in front of you. I'm just gonna move up a little bit. And so it's normal that you have better balance on one side compared to the other side. And that's why we do these unilateral movements to really make sure that we balance out the body. You got this. Good job. Continue to breathe. All right, now we're gonna get into a squat, goblet squat with alternating curtsy lunge. Three, two, one, all right, just moving this other side. So heels of the hands under that weight. So let's go ahead and squat. Now come up, back lunge, but then cross over the midline. Come back, squat, same thing, cross over that midline. Watch the dog behind you. Good work. So again, try to cross over that midline. Really getting a little bit more gluteus medius work. That's it. And again, focusing on a sprot in front of us to keep that balance. Coach Kobe is approving, I think, 10 seconds, that's it. Stay here with me, come on. Three, two, one, all right. On the back now, we're gonna place the weights here between the knees and just gonna do a bit of a crunch. So my hands are behind my head and notice I'm really not 
focusing on coming up so high, but instead pushing that low back into the floor, just really engaging the core, <sighs> bringing my heels back onto the floor. <sighs> and again, not a big movement, just really establishing just this pelvic tilt that I'm working on. <sighs> That's it, nicely done. Ten more seconds. That's it, you got it. Three, two, one. All right, let's come on up now. Grab both dumbbells. Now we're gonna lean forward, push the knees out, and then we're just gonna do a row. And if this is a lot on the back, come on over here and follow me over here. Maybe just doing half the time on one side, and then half on the other side. But if you push your knees out right now and dig those heels into the floor, activating the glutes a bit more, it's gonna be less on that low back. That's it, keep it up. You got it. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna stand up, doing an upright row. That's it. Oh man, I'm so feeling this. You got this, come on. 10 seconds. And then you have an idea of whether or not you've used the right weights today. Three, two, one. Now squeeze the glutes. Same thing, but leading up with the elbows. So wrists are below the elbows. Just try to mirror me. If you're finding that you're doing this, just lift the elbows up. Imagine you are starting your lawnmower. By the way, that's not generally my task. So if this doesn't look like what you would do to start a lawnmower, I'm sorry. It is so not my jam. <laughs> but I do row. And so imagine then you're sitting on that rowing machine and doing the exact same thing. That's it, all right, come on, 20 more seconds, come on. Connect with the body, connect with the breath. We're gonna get through this. Relax the face, relax the jaws, relax the neck. <sighs> Maybe you're feeling the biceps a little bit. That's okay. Come on, let's go, five more seconds. Three, two, one, and break. All right, high five. Good job for showing up for you. Remember that you've just deposited in that health and fitness bank account. And now we can think about what else we wanna do throughout the day to add in a little bit more. So athletes, remember to go ahead and repeat one more time if you have it in you or check out the other workout I have linked for you at the end of this one to complete the training today. I love to hear from you, so comment below. Let me know how this was for you today. If you've liked it, give me a thumbs up, and then let's go ahead and subscribe so that we keep training together. All right, let's go. Refuel, rehydrate, let's meet up in the next one. You got this.